All right, now that we're back at the light box, we've got our template just as we've processed it so far, which is just with one single piece of fabric in the mix. I'm going to now introduce my next piece of fabric. And again, I'm not gonna place it on that printed side. I can't see my lines. It needs to go on the unprinted side of the, fabric, of the uh, template. Now our intuition kind of wants us to do this, to place that number two fabric exactly where we want it to end up in the finished template. But if we do that, we are going to wind up with a seam allowance that's the reverse of what we want. If we flip this over, for example, and pretend that we've sewn this particular seam allowance in place, this is what we get. This is not what we want. What we want is more like this. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this back over and line this up correctly. One of the tricks I like to tell my paper piecing students is to place your fabric where you have been, meaning where you have just already placed fabric, not where you want it to end up. So that means I'm going to place this right sides together with my number one section, my turquoise. So you'll see this dark shadow here shows me where exactly my number two fabric is sitting right now. I've got about a quarter inch hanging out over that line between sections number one and number two. I've also got plenty of fabric out here to cover the seam allowance on the outside of the template. And I've also got this triangle down here to give me some fabric for the seam allowance here on this end where one, two, three, and so on meet with number seven. Now that I've placed this just right, I'm gonna bring this back over to my sewing workstation so that I can sew it in place. 